Hello, welcome back. Uh, so let's assume that we have an employee table and then we have there are 14 rows right now and uh, and in this company you know who is maintaining this database so there is a rule and the business rule is that uh, that uh, there, will be, there will not be any commission or bonus for uh, employee whose job description is analyst okay so that means if Bolt is a new employee and Bolt's job description is analyst then the commission that Bolt is going to get is zero or null. Okay. So the question here is how do you ensure this happen by using constraint? Okay. So you have already learned about uh, Oracle database constraint. So can you use constraint so that we can ensure that this kind of business rule be uh, maintained? Okay, so it may not it may not happen. Okay, so so basically, what we can do here is another option that uh, we can just build an application, and in that application we are going to give a simple form where a clerk, a data entry clerk, is going to enter data. Okay, so in this case, whenever he is entering data and where the job description is analyzed, okay, in that case what we can say that we can do a validation in this client side before we submit that SQL statement insert statement to the database we can ensure we can put some logic that if the job description is analyst then commission should be null or zero okay so however like you know we, we build this kind of application and when we give it to this data analyst or we give it to the clerk and this data data entry clerk is going to use this application as long as this data entry user is using this application then we should be fine there's no problem at all but if let's say this data entry uh, clerk knows what is a database name how to connect like the user ID password and schema to this database then if he knows those things and he's a little bit of smart then what he can do he can open up a SQL plus or SQL developer or any other tools, any other clients by which he can connect to this database. And what he can do? He can do an insert statement like this where the commission column is 100. Okay, so if the commission value we, he is putting 100, then what happened is that he is basically this data entry clerk is breaking the company rule that there will be no commission for analyst. Okay, so this rule is violated. Okay, so now the question is how we prevent this? Okay, the question is how can we prevent the data entry operator to insert wrong data to the database? Okay. Let's so this that's one question. So let's ask another question. Let's say in this employee table, you have uh, the employee number seven eight four four. Let's say his salary was fifteen hundred. Okay, somehow is another data data entry clerk. He just want to go and then randomly change this value to say five thousand. Okay, so that means he increased the salary of employee number seven eight four four from a 1500 to 5000 okay so in that case what you like to know is that whenever this kind of critical things got updated i like to have a log of the update like in that log i would like to know who updated and what was the old value of salary and so when this update when this update occurred okay and then for which employee ID this update happened okay so these are the couple of information that I would like to log automatically whenever some update is happening okay and let's say let's call that one as EMP underscore log table and EMP underscore log table I am going to log a update to the main table okay so the question is here is number one number two is how do we audit okay so this is basically called auditing okay so how do we audit a transaction so to do this thing 
like, the, like you must have must have already guessed like how can you do this? Like say for example, whenever this thing happen, something else is going to happen, right? So that means whenever something is happen, some other things should happen just parallelly, okay? And that is called database trigger. So database trigger is the functionality, okay? That will allow you to ensure this kind of you know that will, that will answer you this kind of questions in next couple of videos we are going to take different scenarios and we're going to try to do how try to try to come up with a solution to prevent this kind of things to happen thank you